Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Particle Tracing for Fluid Flows. A few videos have already been uploaded in this series. Do watch those videos because that could be helpful if you are working with particle tracing for fluid flows for your modeling. Today we will be learning about how to fix the initial positions of the particle or how to modulate the initial positions of the particles there might be a situation where you need to fix the positions of initial particle because your particle dynamics could be dependent on the initial positions of the particles. That is an obvious thing because your field might be different and if you, if you position your particles initially in a different way, you can have a different ultimate figure. So let us move to the topic. So we will be using this by a data file. So what you have to do in a data file, you have to choose the, you have to put the coordinates of the particles you want to fix. Suppose in this data file, you can see we have three columns. The first column represents the X coordinate. The second column represents the Y coordinate and the last column represents Z coordinate. So we have taken Cartesian coordinates of few points like for example, in the first row, it indicates point 0.1, point 0.1, point 0.1. That means the position is point 0.1, point 0.1, point 0.1. Say the last one, the position is point 0.5, point 0.2 and point 0.1. So at this coordinate, we will be having an initial particle. So now let us go and let us check how to implement this. So this is a three dimensional plane. So today we will be working with three dimension. Uh, I have also got a complaint like why do I always choose 2D and hence I thought today I'll be working with a 3D geometry. So I click on 3D and then I go to particle tracing for fluid flows. Then in the study, let me choose the time dependent option. And yes, we are here. Let us take a block. I right click and take a block. And let us put the height 0.2 and the width as say 0.6 and 0.6. So this is how it is built. Now what I do is I go to particle tracing for fluid flow. I write initially let me finalize the particle properties. Say the initial density is not known. I choose user define. And let me fix the dimension as 10 micrometer. And now I go to particle tracing for fluid flow, right click on it. And we'll be choosing this option, release from data file. You will be having this option. So let us click here. So I clicked here. So the positions or the coordinates will be in this solution space. So you should not forget to select this one. If you don't select it, nothing will work. Now let us just go to the option browse and choose the file. So I have my file in my desktop and the name is this one data 2. Not a good name. Sorry for that. So once you browse the file, you will be clicking on import. Once you click on import, your data file name will be shown here. So those are the coordinates now fixed because the coordinates are described in this data file. Now what I do is now let me go a quick, go for a quick mesh build up. Let us work with fine mesh. It is absolutely fine because of the learning purpose. Now I guess all the things are correctly chosen. So I can click on computes. I am not taking any force because my purpose is to show that I am fixing the initial position of the particle. As there is no force, the particle will not be moving. It will be fixed at the initial position and that was my target. So you can see those are the positions. First position was 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. So this is the particle which has coordinate 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. This one has 0 0.1, sorry 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So this is how all the particles are distributed as per the coordinate you have chosen in the data file. 
we can have multiple coordinates but for the learning purpose i have only taken how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 particles i have taken you can have multiple particles you can have a large data file where you can actually put thousand ten thousands of particles and you can actually simulate and it will give you permanent initial positions i guess this video will be helpful to you if you are working with particle dynamics meanwhile i will request you to subscribe to my channel so that we get more motivation to upload videos thank you